In three short minutes from introduction to passage, the U.S. House of Representatives unanimously passed an important amendment intended to ensure that the Department of Transportation denies NAI. The amendment is straightforward. Without naming any specific airline or operation, it merely reinforces existing law, holding DOT accountable for its future actions. Simply put, if the Department of Transportation is to approve a foreign air carrier permit application, that application must fall within U.S. law and Article 17 bis of the U.S.-EU Open Skies Agreement. It should be no surprise that NAI engaged in an all-out effort to defeat the amendment. Why? Because they know they don't meet the legal test. And after the unanimous vote, it's clear the U.S. House of Representatives knows it too, sending a clear message to DOT. I want to thank both ALPA members and staff for helping us reach this point. On short notice, on the day of the vote, nearly 3,000 pilots urged their congressional representative to support the amendment and every phone call and email counted. I want to thank representatives Westmoreland and DeFazio for their tremendous leadership in getting this amendment before their peers for a vote. And I want to thank the entire House of Representatives for sending a strong message to the DOT and the aviation industry as a whole. Following the law and the will of the U.S. House of Representatives, the DOT should now deny NAI's application for a foreign air carrier permit, period. It runs counter to U.S. public interests and the U.S.-EU Open Skies Agreement. I will call on your continued support in the near future. I implore you to get engaged with what's happening here in Washington. The future of your career depends on it. Thank you again for your support during this important week. Let's be resolute to emulate the same sense of urgency and energy in the next steps to deny NAI.